Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial I'm going to take you through setting up a Windows 10 to go USB drive. So what is a Windows to go drive? It can be an external hard drive or a flash drive with your own Windows 10 operating system so you can plug the device into any computer and boot from it to get your own Windows 10 operating system environment. So what's the purpose of this I hear you ask? Well, it can fit many purposes. Imagine you are out and about and need access to personal files, favourites, shortcuts or even software applications that you use. You can access all of these from your own Windows operating system by plugging in the device to another computer and booting from it. It will not affect the user's computer in any way and it will not leave any trace of your personal data on that person's computer. It also saves you the hassle of carrying around a laptop computer. Another great example would be if you are a contractor working between sites Provided you could borrow a spare computer, it enables you to be able to travel light. And let's face it, it is cool, isn't it? So, let's get started. So here we are on our Windows 10 desktop. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is format our external drive or flash drive. I've already got a formatted external SSD drive inside an external USB 3 caddy. I would recommend using USB 3 as it's so much faster. If you'd like to know how to properly format a drive, see my video Clean Format Label and, and Assign using this part. I'll put a link in the description below. So here is my drive, the external F drive. OK, so now we need to go and get ourselves a Windows 10 ISO file. Now here is where I frustratingly hit a problem because I already have Windows 10 as my operating system on this PC. And when I go to the following URL, it advises me that I need Microsoft's own download tool in order to create Windows 10 installation media which is not really what I want to do as I have not had much success in using the ISO file that it creates. It's probably Microsoft's way to try and point you to using a Windows 10 compatible Windows to go USB device. But there is a way around this. As you can see, I'm using the Chrome browser. If I right click anywhere on the page and select inspect, I get to see the elements of this page. If I select the three dots up here, and then select more tools and go down to network conditions we can see down the bottom of the page here the user agent is uh, set to select automatically so it's automatically going to select the operating system that we're currently running which is Windows 10 so if I just simply untick this box it then opens us up to be able to choose anything we want from this list. So I can now fool the browser into thinking that I have a different operating system. So let's just uh, let's keep the one that was on there, Safari, iPad, iOS 9. So now if I just press the F5 key to refresh the page and lo and behold I can now select the edition I want. How cool is that? Okay so here's the thing in my recent escapades in trying to get this to work, and don't get me wrong, there are plenty of free programs out there that make this process easy, but what I found was that the latest version of Windows 10 required these free programs to all of a sudden require you to buy their professional packages in order to create the Windows to go drives with the October 2018 version. And even though they may only cost around 30 or 40 dollars, it's money you may not want to spend. So when we drop this selection box down here, we've got the choice of the October 2018 update or we've got the April 2018. So I'm going to choose the April one and confirm that. And now I get to select the product language. So let's uh, select English and we'll confirm that. And now we can see we can select either 32-bit or 64-bit. So I'm going to go for 64-bit. 
and in the bottom left hand corner there we can see that our ISO is now downloading and it's going to take a while so let's fast forward this section. Okay now we've got our Windows 10 ISO file let's download a small program called Rufus. So let's just go back a moment All the links to these will be in the description so don't worry. So when we're on the Rufus page we need to scroll down to where it says other versions. So let's click on that and the version that we want is version 2.2 which is that one there. So let's download that. Okay so let's fire up Rufus. Let's go to our downloads. As you can see, I've tried many times before with the Rufus versions. And 2.2 seems to be the only version that I've found that will give me the option to create a Windows to go drive. So if we look at the device, so the device that we're going to be put our Windows to go on is obviously our USB 3 drive. And if I drop the box down there, Unfortunately, we can't see anything in there. So let's have a look and see what's happened with that drive. So if I go into disk management, and if I scroll down, we can see our external F drive. So I'm just gonna right click that and I'm gonna delete the volume. Oh, and there you go, we can now see the device. So something to bear in mind. So the next thing we need to do is we need to select our image um, and to do that back in the downloads folder again obviously there's our Windows 10 64-bit ISO so I'm going to select that and say open and we have the option here to create our own label if we want so I'm just going to call it uh, win to go and then under here we have format options if I just click this arrow we can see we've got the option to select Windows to go so I'm going to select that and then I can click start all the data on the device will be erased yes okay and then uh, it goes ahead and does its own format anyway so again let's fast forward okay so our Windows to go device is now ready so I guess the next thing to do is to plug it into a different machine and boot it and see what happens So here we can see I've got another laptop with Windows 8 already installed. Um, so I'm just connecting my USB 3 drive that I've prepared for Windows to go. And the next thing to do is to restart this laptop and then we need to get into the boot menu to tell it to boot from the USB 3 drive. You can either do this in the BIOS and have it set to always boot from the USB drive first or in my example here I know it's the F12 key in order to choose the boot menu so I'm going to press F12 and then I'm going to select the USB drive which is the one at the top there and then as you can see the external drive light there is flickering away And what generally happens now is it's like when you've first reinstalled Windows, it's going to go through its usual setup process just by asking you a few questions. It's only going to do this once and then after this it's then going to just boot straight into Windows which is what I'm going to demonstrate here. As you can see it can take some time to start with but no more time than it would normally take if you were to install this on a normal PC. So as you can see it's behaving normally, Cortana's up, I think I'm going to mute that. And now we can select various options such as the, the keyboard layout, language and things like that. I'm going to skip the part where I connect to the network because I'm it's a bit difficult trying to uh, 
put in my Wi-Fi password with one hand, so we'll skip that part. Create your account and then go for all of the usual questions that Microsoft asks at the time that you install Windows. So eventually it gets to a, a desktop um, and just as a test uh, let's create, uh, I don't know, let's, let's create a, f uh, a file. So we do a simple text file just to show that uh, when we do reboot Windows or shut the laptop down and then restart it up with the Windows to go drive that that should remain on the desktop. So it is a clear indication that you can install any apps, any shortcuts, any, any programs you want, your personal files, they can all go on the Windows to go drive. So I'll restart. And the other test, just to make sure, just to show you that I'm, I'm going to restart, but this time I'm not going to um, boot into the Windows to go drive because I just want to show you that it will go back into its normal windows it's not going to have uh, created any issues for the previous owner of the laptop we'll keep speeding through these parts so as you can see we're back on our Windows 8 desktop so let's uh, restart again and this time we'll boot straight from the USB uh, Windows to go drive probably noticed there it asked me to press any key to stop the disk being checked Obviously, if you don't press it, it's going to check the disk. And there we can see we've now booted into our Windows 10 operating system. So let's log on with a password that I created. And hopefully we should see the desktop with that test file, that uh, text document that I put on the desktop. And there it is. So it's as simple as that. I can now shut that down. I can put that in my pocket and go out and about with it and if I come across a laptop that I wanted to use my own Windows to go operating system I can just plug it in select the boot option to boot from my device and uh, away I go so I hope you found this tutorial useful and interesting and I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching